All right, Jeff, you wanted to talk a little bit about doing some cleanup of your Lightroom backups. What is this? I didn't realize I needed to do any maintenance on my Lightroom. Yeah, absolutely. So um, just uh, periodically on the show, I, I like to recommend some hygiene to help keep things clean on your computer, to keep things working, especially because um, a lot of us probably have our catalogs on SSD drives and they're very small. So this is something that can help you get a little bit of space back if you haven't done it for a while. Let's just go delete your backups of Lightroom. So hopefully you have it configured in Lightroom to ask you to back up every time you exit Lightroom. You don't have to do that every time, but at least it's, I'd set it so it asks me every time. And if I'm kind of in a hurry, need to do something else, maybe I don't do it that time. But uh, at least once a week or so, you'll want to do that, have it create a backup. What it does is it creates a copy of the database that your cat that makes up your catalog. And, uh, and some of the smart previews and, and some of the other uh, preview stuff that you've built. And so since I, I do it frequently, I just went and looked today, uh, I had 15 backups that were out there and I only need the last one <laughs> or the last two. Um, Julianne Cost, so she's a, the principal digital imaging evangelist at Adobe, it's a good title. And, uh, and she recommends five, she recommends you keep five of them. I have never needed that many. I have restored once, um, but it was because I did something I shouldn't and went into the database and, and I screwed it up. But um, I, so I restored once from the from that backup, but uh, go, go and deleting them. So the way that you find these is to, to go into, uh, on Mac you do Lightroom, Catalog Settings, on Windows it's Edit, Catalog Settings. Then you go to the General tab, click the Show button in the right hand side, right of location. And this will bring up either Finder on Mac or, or Windows Explorer on PC. And then uh, you double click into the Lightroom folder and you double click into the backups folder. And there'll be a bunch of folders there that are backups of your Lightroom catalog. It's not your photos. That's a big distinction that you need to make sure is clear. This has nothing to do with your photos being backed up. It's only the Lightroom catalog and maybe some of the uh, previews that they've generated. So I, I selected the 15 of them there. They were taking up 15 gig of storage on my SSD. So that was you know, like 20% of my SSD drive. So I nuked them today and I thought I'd just remind people that they need to do that and take care of those. Yeah, you're doing better than me. I looked and I have 23 backups in there and my, each backup is over four gigabytes. <laughs> yeah, so, so you're, you're wasting a, a there. ton of disk storing those old backups. Yeah, and... I, for me, I like to keep more than one. Um, the reason is that it's so, so easy in Lightroom to affect a lot of photos at once just by making one wrong, cl one wrong yeah. click. You know, you select the first photo in your catalog and then you scroll over to the end and then you select the other one while holding shift. You've now selected every photo you've ever taken and so if you bump a slider or something you've now messed up every photo you've ever taken um in lightroom and so i like to have several backups uh in case i've done something like that you know then i you know take a week off go do a couple things whatever don't check my photos from a while ago and then you realize oh no i totally messed up my edits for years um so it's pretty easy to do something like that in lightroom and so i like like to keep quite a few backups um you know more than just from one month you know maybe keep two from this month and then one keep one that's like three months old uh you know just to make sure that nothing crazy is going on or check your lightroom make sure things are looking normal before you do that uh, so you don't uh, make a big mistake but you I don't need 23 of them no probably don't need 23 <laughs> that's, that's a lot of protection right there <laughs> I tend to be really bad about backing up half the time when it gives me the option to back up. It's because I'm shutting my computer down <laughs> and you're in a hurry. No, I want to shut it down now. And yeah, then inevitably I go, I realize, Oh, I've gone like a month and a half and I haven't backed up. Once. There's another reason to do it too, because it will optimize your catalog at the same time. And that helps to these, the database that it's storing stuff in, it can get, some, I'll just call it some build up, some junk can get built up over there. Gingivitis. In <laughs> and so, room so gingivitis will build over time is that what's happening <laughs> so gingivitis yeah so uh so it's when it backs up it also 
uh, I think the checkbox is there by default to optimize the catalog. And that can really help too. If you haven't done that for a really long time, you actually, I think, will notice a big difference. So when is it clearing the ca the the cached images of my photos? Is it on a certain schedule, like every 30 days? Or does, is that one of these things that happens they um, do it when I'm shutting down? They do it based on the size of the preview cache. So you have a certain oh, size. Oh, just as I hit it. That's right. I forget yeah. that because there's so that then setting If it gets over that size, size, it will delete the oldest of those previews, assuming you're not going to go back to them. Ah, okay. Very cool.